Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And uh, talking of Microsoft Edge browser, uh, one of the reasons you might want to move on to version 96 is for the security updates. So Microsoft Edge add an update on its stable version. If that's the main browser you use, I recommend that you actually update your browser to uh, stay safe. You do so by going on the upper right corner three dots, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, and you should be at version 96.0.1054.29. Uh, that was released officially November 19th, but it was rolling out throughout the weekend and today. Now, um, it contains three vulnerabilities. One is for iOS. Uh, so if you use Edge on a uh, iOS device, that is uh, an iPad or an iPhone, uh, there's a iOS spoofing vulnerability in Edge that is fixed. So on these devices, you should update Edge. For the rest, there is a spoofing vulnerability that is for all platforms, all versions. So uh, check it out. Microsoft Edge um, is, of course, has a security vulnerability on this. And uh, it is um, one of those updates or these exploitability that is um, not, you know, one of the biggest problems because it can't be really exploded from, you know, it's not a critical flaw or a zero day, but these are flaws you want to have fixed on the browser. And finally, there's also a uh, Microsoft Edge remote code execution vulnerability that was uh, discovered. And um, it's not publicly disclosed. It's not exploited in the wild, which, of course, lowers the... Uh, danger for now, but since they now are available and they are out uh, and, and bad guys, hackers can now see what flaws were fixed. Of course, not updating your browser means you could be in at risk. So update the uh, browser, not a lot of fixes, but just enough that you need to uh, update it for sure. Um, one interesting comment that I saw last week in the um, comment section was about we talked about how Google Chrome uh, has the security updates and that um, Microsoft Edge usually has the security updates but a couple of days later to fix often the same flaws that are available in Google Chrome because the same base of the browser is used which is Chromium and um, the comment was about you know doesn't that make Microsoft Edge really kind of insecure because it you know takes a few days to update to those uh, to fix those security flaws and you know this all of the browsers that are chromium based pretty much all update a little later than google chrome itself uh, and one of the main reasons is often is these security flaws are discovered by google chrome or by the google team and they are then of course fixed for google chrome but these fixes sometimes need to be, have a certain tweak. Then they're not necessarily going to be exactly the same fix for Edge or for Brave or for Opera. They will need to be tweaked for each browser. So that's why they often are not on the same day because they need to be tweaked and they need to be tested also a little bit to make sure that they don't break something specific since it's the same base. Yes, they work, but they might break a feature that's in Edge that doesn't exist in Chrome and so on. So that's why it always takes a couple of days. Um, technically, yes, that means that there is more of a risk, but uh, as long as they don't take you know a week or two, um, spending a day or two is not too risky. Um, and remember that the risk of these security flaws is really dependent on what you do on your computer. You might have a outdated browser that has security holes, but if you always go on the same websites that are always safe, uh, you know, you're not exploited because these websites don't have what it takes to uh, exploit security flaws. Uh, it's really more if you're one of those people that actually go on a lot more websites, always find new websites to go to and travel. And of course, the danger is mostly clicking links in the email that could actually open a bad website that would infect your browser or your machine. So check it out, a uh, new 
version of Edge and of course security fixes in there for uh, Microsoft Edge. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.